This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Got it. Oh, good shit. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. It gets interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Chicago Bears Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm using the Green Bay Packers once again because I really like this young squad and I was trying to will them to victory for the second time in the playoffs, but they sadly fell short. So expect me to use the Lions next week as that's the only team the average fan is rooting for left in the playoffs. But before I get into the video, if you guys are liking the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section it really helps out the channel and I appreciate the support. My opponent is the Colts and some random jackass listening to every Cash Money record song ever made like it's the early 2000s or something. The defense I'm going to show you guys today is once again out of the nickel 3-3 odd, as this is my favorite defense to use right now. I already put out a full breakdown of this scheme, so if you guys want to see more plays, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But in today's video, I'm going to add a new play and setup to this scheme that wasn't in the original video in the Sam Mike 1, but you can also do the play I'm going to show you out of the cover 1 Robert Press, as the cover 1 is one of the best defenses to use in Madden 24. I don't get any of my setup in other than my coaching adjustments before I just have to pick a play and of course my opponent bulks up and runs it on the first play for a first down before running hurry up and passing for close to a first down again on the next play before letting it go back to the huddle past midfield. For my coaching adjustments the most important change that I'm going to be making for this defense is to turn my auto flip off and this is because I'm going to be flipping the field every play so that I have one specific player on the wide side of the field but I'll get to that more in a minute. For my audible plays I still use the cover for a drop a lot as this is usually my base defense versus run and pass, the pinch zero for blitzing and the cover two man for obvious passing situations. The most important part of the setup for this defense is my substitutions as I want to put my best coverage linebacker at this defensive end spot here. So whoever you have is a good combination of speed and coverage ability like man and zone. So I choose Quay Walker because of his 90 speed. Then I replace him with my fastest safety to improve the overall pass defense over the middle. As this defender will be manned to a lot of slot receivers, running backs, and tight ends. For the setup, I'm going to flip the play every time before selecting it so that the linebacker that I put at defensive end is on the wide side of the field so that I can put him on a hard flat or maybe even sometimes a curl flat depending on the down and distance. This particular player is what I consider your joker defender, meaning that if you have a quarterback that's running a lot, you can put him into a QB contain or you can man him to a running back or any player you want on the field. This is the guy that does everything for this defense, but I will typically just put him on a hard flat. As a defender, reading an offense can be as simple as reading where the most receivers are or where the most space is on the field. On this play, they are both on the wide side, as he has three out of five possible receivers, including the tight end and running back on this side of the field, meaning that there's a 60% chance that that's where the play is going to happen. There's also 60% of the field on that side as well. So since defenders don't know where the ball is going to go, we ultimately have to play the percentages, and eventually the percentages went out. My job as a user is to cut off any crossing routes over the middle of the field, since that's one of the few things that beat man coverage. The three rack hook is already designed to do that on every single play so that's going to be my user and I will try to start the play by bringing them down over the middle of the field like an additional linebacker. Now it's going to be hard to stop him from getting a few inches at this point but you can see how much better the defense works on the next play now that I have gotten the full setup and adjustments in as he calls a hurry up and tries to run it again. For run defense I find it's best to spread the defensive line so they can maintain the edge and invite the running back up the middle where I have three second level defenders as he tries to run inside once again it gets nowhere. He calls hurry up again on the next play and you can see how this coverage is shut down before he tries to go deep and we get another SWAT to bring up 4th and 8 from no man's land. Too close to punt and too far away to kick a field goal. As he tries to work the corner route. 
gotcha, bitch. And we get the interception from star cornerback Jair Alexander, who also gets a big return to get me into field goal range to start the next drive. On offense, I'm going to start the game by using a new scheme that I just put out out of the single back tight Y off flex. And I just made a full breakdown of this offense as well. So if you guys want to see more, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video for that. I started to drive out getting a five yard penalty because it took me too long to set up my offense. And that ultimately derails the drive as it gets me to a third and long and Love overthrows a touchdown pass. So I decided to take the free points and the lead. Back on defense, I switch from the press cover one to the Sam Mike, as the press version is just riskier and can get beat deep by simple fade routes to the outside. But most people don't know that, so try both of these and let me know which one works out best for you. He goes under center with three tight ends on the next play, so you know he's going to try to pound the rock. The key word is try, as he doesn't get much at all. Nope. The setup for this defense is pretty much the same, only now I'm going to use the blitzing middle linebacker instead. And since the cornerbacks aren't pressing, they tend to do a better job in coverage in my opinion. I also like to pinch the defensive line and spread the linebackers, as I am no longer bringing the other safety into the box for run support, as he predictably tries to throw into the flat and it almost gets intercepted. Everything is locked up on the next play, but the linebacker doesn't play all the way to the sideline or took a bad angle or something, as Taylor still gets through the double team for the first. I also find the press is slightly better in run defense since I'm bringing the safety down and giving myself more second level defenders as he gets another first down up the middle before I shut him down the next play for a one yard gain before he runs it again to get to third and three. <laughs> He throws a screen on the next play to get the first down before working the crossing route and now he's moving right down the field in a hurry. As he gets a big run to get into the red zone, from here he goes back under center and just tries to pound it in, getting some very favorable animations on the way. So once he gets to third and one, I run commit to shut him down for a loss and force him to a big fourth and two before switching to my cover four drop and hard flatting for the biggest play of the drive. Gotcha, bitch! As we get another interception and another big return. Back in office, we start the drive out by being more aggressive and throwing the ball down the field as we get in the field goal range right away. We get another first down on the ground before switching offenses to gun normal while off close as I get another penalty from taking too long to set up my audible plays, ultimately costing me another drive as Love sails the next three passes out of bounds and I have to settle for another field goal Goal, letting him stay in the game up six at half. I get the ball back after half as well and start by pounding the rock, but Buckner is a problem anytime I try to run inside as he gets me to a fourth and inches, and I figure that I have to be able to get this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Only to get stuffed by Buckner again, giving him the ball in field goal range already. I make the mistake of spreading on the next play, giving him a huge run lane before I decide to switch run defenses entirely to the 3-4 odd cover 4, thinking that this will give me a better chance at run defense, but he easily scores on the very first play, untouched. Damn it! as this defense continues to look like it got nerfed somewhere along the line. Now down a point and seeing that he has been running a lot of cover three lately, I switched to one of my favorite one play touchdowns in the game out of the gun wing slot offset in the PA read, a play that I put out earlier this year. As all I have to do is run from a hash mark so that the single high safety starts to play on the other side of the field and put everyone on streaks except for the B tight end and the other tight end gets wide open up the seam. Break yourself, fool! I might have thrown it a little bit early, but he still doesn't get touched as we take the lead back on the first play before deciding to go for two and dotting up the drag in a crowd. Oh, I go back to the first cover one as a the game like you. Run defense since I can spread the D-line and bring an additional defender into the box as he doesn't get much on the next play. He spreads me out on the very next play by going empty backfield and I was just a little bit behind on that route or I could have made a play on it. But the run defense is way better once again as I stretch him out and make him go backwards for a big loss. The run defense might be better, but the pass defense is worse as he completes the corner round the very next play to get it all back before getting into field goal range on the ground. He tries to score on the ground on the next play, but the defense is there. Oh, pitch down. You got a pitch down. Before I drop him for a loss on the ground the very next play, and then he just picks it all right back up before he picks up another and long situation to get into the red zone. Anytime I get deep into the red zone against someone running like this, I usually switch to the 3 4 odd so that I have some size. And it works on the first play, but the coverage is worse as he completes a pass to the sideline before I decide to run command on third and one, only to give up the tying score with just over three minutes left in the game. And my drive doesn't start off too good either as I have to throw it away. I try to take the running back underneath but he catches me right away before I have to thread the needle between two defenders to keep the drive alive. I try to do it again on the next play but I get a bad throw and this time now it's all on my defense to save the game. I knew he was going to try me one time. That's all I knew. One opportunity. 
I ran only one defense the entire game for the purposes of making this video, but this admittedly makes it easier on my opponent since he knows what defense I'm in and can make a plan for it. But now that the game is on the line, winning is the most important thing, as I don't like posting losses, but you know I will. So I decide to switch it up, showing him something different in the pinch zero blitz that I put out earlier from this scheme before switching to the cover four to get into a third and one and shutting him down to force a quick fourth and two. From here, I go cover four one more time with the hard flash to defend the two yards. So from here, I just want the win, so I don't take any chances. I run the ball, kick the field goal, and give him the ball back without any timeouts. So I go right back to the cover one version without the press. As we seal the game with another interception and get the rage quit. So that's this video. If you guys want to see more plays from the offense or defense I was using, I will have them popping up on screen. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Mike out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.